If you ever came across an Instagram story that was animated and you wanted to have the same one for your Instagram, if you are looking for clever ways to repurpose your content, or if you just are curious about cool features of Canva, then this video has been made just for you. I'm going to show you how to create an animated Instagram story out of your existing content in a few clicks. So let's start. In order to start, we are of course going to need to have our Canva. And what I'm going to look for is that I'm going to look for my existing thumbnail, as you can see, I have plenty of these in my Canva. So I'm going to choose the one with ungrouping in Miro. I'm going to open the design. And in order to actually change something about it, I'm going to choose the resize icon with a crown in the upper left corner. I'm going to create a click resize and then I'm going to choose Instagram story. Boom and I'm going to click continue. And Canva is working right now. I'm going to be asked in a moment to either copy and resize, here you go, or resize this design. I want to have my thumbnail for future purposes. So I'm going to, of course, click copy and resize and Canva will just now create a separate design for you. Once you click open your story, you are going to be redirected to a new tab in your browser. And here you go, you have your Instagram story size kind of a thing. If you would like to get more valuable information about B2B sales and marketing, join our email broadcast where we share resources with valuable information, marketing tricks and case studies of successful campaigns, proven scenarios for B2B sales, useful tools, and a ton more to help you improve your sales and marketing game and generate more leads. Just click the link below to register and get more value instantly. So how to animate those static elements that you see in here? I'm going to highlight all of the elements in here and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on animate button in here. If you do not see this button, then it might be hidden somewhere. You might have a different dimension of your screen. So just look for animate option here. And if you happen to work on your mobile, this is a bit trickier because you cannot select in bulk. You need to click and hold on one of the elements and then click select multiple and then choose multiple elements in order to have the same result. But if you have your desktop, then clicking here and choosing animate is a great way to go. And here you have different kinds of animations that you can add to your design. Of course, you can choose only a few of these elements and then have them pop in from the left and the rest come from the right or add different effects and different elements to it. It doesn't really matter what you will choose to do. I'm just going with the most straightforward and fastest option possible. So I'm just going to click on the pop, boom. And as you can see, all of this is, is popping up simultaneously. I'm going to click, yeah, this is how it looks like. I'm satisfied with that. What I'm going to do only is that I'm going to move it a bit up. Perfect. In order for me to add some of the links here, for example, to redirect my Instagram followers to my YouTube channel. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on share in the upper right corner and I'm going to click download in here. MP4 is good for me. I'm going to download the file. Just so you know, if you will do this immediately from your mobile app of Canva, this is also doable. You can instantly add this to your Instagram story from the mobile app of Canva. I am downloading and then airdropping this to my mobile because it's just faster to do on your desktop than on your mobile, but you can choose whatever you want. And as you can see here, boom, yeah, this already works and it looks pretty good. So this is how it will look on my Instagram story. If this video was anyhow helpful to you, please make sure to subscribe to the channel to get more valuable information about marketing, sales and B2B stuff. If you want to have any other tutorials about Canva or any other thing, just let me know in the comment section down below. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.